the most anticipated video in the series is finally here. Today we're going to be adding the Spotify integration into, into our music bot and we're actually going to be seeing what we can do with it. But before we do that, we're going to have to do a couple of prerequisites before that because I guess first we're going to be actually using just the Spotify in general. So we're going to have to create an application for it and we're going to have to do all of that. So what you want to do is you want to navigate to the Spotify developer screen. So just go to developer.spotify.com and what you want to do is we're going to actually make use of their database. So how we're going to do this is we're just going to click on dashboard and you're, you're going to have to log in, of course. And here you can see that I have a couple. So here is my Discord music search, and then this is my other one. And uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to click here and create a new app. So I'm just going to call this Discord music search and YouTube, maybe YouTube. Okay, we're just going to do a YouTube tutorial API. You're going to have to click this and then you're going to click create. And what that's going to do, that's actually going to create the actual just the dashboard right and i'll show you here so then what you're going to do is here you have your client id right and if i click here you'll also see my client secret of course i'm going to reset apple this video i'm not stupid but right here you're going to be or we're going to be actually utilizing these too let's actually create what we need to do so what we want to do here in our registry of code is we want to actually uh, create an extra end to the create node section where we can actually configure that. So how we're going to do that is we're just going to do something really simple like this. Spotify, Spotify client equals Spotify dot Spotify client. And then inside here, we're going to pass in some stuff. But over here, we're also going to import from Wavelink ext import spot like so. We're not gonna have to update anything that's already in package install. But after we have that, we want to create an empty string. We're gonna put stuff inside the string later, so that's not really it. And then we're just gonna call this client underscore id equals dot dot dot. So now that we have that, we can naturally it's just going to be equal to that. It's a bit harder to type because it's all on the edge of the screen. But now we're going to do something else. So client underscore secret. And then that's going to be also equal to something blank. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually paste in what we had. So what we're going to do is if you go into here, your dashboard, you can just click. Just copy this. Copy it. Go into your Visual Studio Code. And copy it above here. And do the same thing with my client secret. It's not going to show it because I don't think there is any need to. It's right here. And there you go. Now, this will actually connect us to the Spotify API and client. Now that we have that, that's like the main, I guess, hard part. Because you're going to have to go into another window and everything. The rest is fairly easy. And I think I have to explain myself when I say Spotify integration because I think a bunch of you. I guess got confused because it's not what it it might not be what it seems so what it actually is is just we're gonna use spotify we're not gonna use spotify to actually play the actual i guess song but we're gonna use it to grab the song so we're gonna put in like the spotify link and then it's gonna grab the song from that and it's gonna play it but here i am uh commands context And then here next to it, we're just gonna add search. It's the same thing, equals STM. And then we can literally just copy the one from play. Right here, we can actually copy all of this because it's essentially the same exact concept, just a bit different. We're gonna indent it so it's proper, like so. And we're also gonna do something like here. Gonna have to unindent this once, like so. And then we're also gonna do if vc dot loop return. All right, like that because we just don't want to keep on setting it to false at the same time. 
but now that we have this we're gonna change just a couple of things so what you need to do is our main thing is gonna be in here everything else can really just be the same it's really just this that matters so inside here we're gonna have a try statement which is gonna be track equals oh wait spotify dot spotify dot spotify and inside here we're gonna do track dot search and then we're gonna put in like our parameters so we're gonna do query and so query will equal just search and then we're gonna have something else so return first Okay, so what this will do is this will search for whatever search term you provide. And then it, whatever like is returned first, it'll just return that back to us. And that what we can do after that is just indent this entire line. Like so. And then what we can do is also indent this. And now we're have to gonna have to gonna have to add an accept statement. And it's gonna be called accept, and we're gonna have to put something. So it's gonna be we're just gonna do exception as e. And it's not just sending, I guess, E. We're also, we're just going to send something like, please enter a Spotify song URL. So, please enter a Spotify song URL. Okay, I feel like that should do it. And that's basically it. Yeah, believe it or not, that's all it takes because that just did everything. And even if you want, we can also do something like, print e and we can just print the exception here i'll actually either return to this instead like so and now last thing we want to do is over here see where it says search we want to change that all to i guess just track that title so like so you could do control d if you're on you just your code highlight the word highlight whatever it is and then just yeah just do it like that and then lastly this can also be search and search but yeah that's basically it so now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna hop in a discord and we're gonna test it out okay so here i am in my discord right like down in the description i'm trying to get to 850 850 i'm already there sorry at the 1000 members and here I am in my voice channel, and all I'm gonna do is do S play, and then here's my Spotify song. Like that's right. You won't actually hear the song because um I don't want to get copyright striked. So yeah, and so but you can see, and I'll tell you that it is actually playing. You can see it's highlighted in green, and yeah, it's playing music, and it works just like the same. It just works how it regularly does. Right, if I do Q, all the other commands will work just the same. Nothing's really changed, right? I could check the loop, enable it, disable it, whatever I want. And yeah, that's just how it works. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh that's Spotify integration. If you want it more, I'm sorry, but like that's the only thing that Wavelink will allow. And actually Spotify, you can't stream music from there anyways. Uh using their API, you can only do it straight from their web application. Anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Until next time, close to go. See ya!